right into this. Bringing back the holiday title battle royal here in the Shockwave Arena exclusively here tonight. The holiday title going to be on the line. And an eight man battle royal, of course, as we know, the former champion uh, was stripped of the title. So now we will be getting an eight man battle royal to decide the new champion. And making his way down to the ring first, as you guys know, this is random entry. Entry number one is Taiji Ishimori, the bone soldier of the Bullet Club. This is a very interesting entry, and of course, this will be his first time ever entering one of these matches. The bone soldier of the Bullet Club is the first entrant here. Taiji Ishimori will be entering the holiday title battle royal here tonight, the 4th of July special. Of course, this is the, uh, or the 4th of July battle royal. This is what, the third year in a row now that we'll have one at the 4th of July. Had to hit this, and this time the uh, title is bank it though. Time to be down since day one issues. Out comes one of the Usos here. And it looks like that Uso is Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso has actually been in one of these battle worlds before. I believe, or maybe it was his brother. All I know is one of the Usos have actually been in the battle world before. I don't know for sure this will be a second appearance in a holiday battle royal for Jimmy Uso. Huge opportunity here for Us to get a belt. Put his name in there with St. Nick, JBL, Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler, Ryback, Seth freaking Rollins, multi-time champion. Chris Jericho, of course. Had a good run with the title. Entry number three is the nature boy himself, Ric Flair. Woo! Ric Flair will be in, in the match next. Entry number three here. This is the first time ever we're doing an eight-man battle royal for the holiday title. Normally it's six. This time we've added two people. A... Uh, a bit of a way to celebrate the fact that this is three years now with the holiday title in these battle royals. I know we missed a few holidays because they were integrated or integrated. Integrated. I'll, I'll get this word down eventually, man. But they were added into the uh, UWA universe picture. holiday champion with the belt who's going to follow JBL, Sheamus, Chris Jericho, Seth freaking Rollins who's a multi-time holiday champion, uh, Ryback, St. Nick, Dolph Ziggler, and what are we at entry number four now? Oh god, and entry number four representing Titus Worldwide is going to be Apollo Crews. Crews is now entering the battle royal. Apollo, so far we've had three Americans entering this before the July Independence Day, and then of course one foreigner in Taiji Ishimori from Japan. You know damn well none of these guys are going to want to allow the Japanese wrestler to pick up the victory here and to win the title on Independence Day. 
Last time this belt was on the line was, what was it, Labor Day, I think is what it was, or maybe it was President's Day, it was one of those two. No, it was Labor Day. Belt was on the line then. Of course, in a battle royal of mayhem. Fun fact right now, the title's only de been defended twice outside of a battle royal. Once it was by Chris Jericho, the other time by Dolph Ziggler. And we will not see this title again after tonight until Halloween, so. Whoever wins this, per usual, has quite some time before they have to defend the belt. Oh, God, no. <laughs> and competitor number five, he don't get hyped. He stays hyped, bro. It is Mojo Rawley entering the uh, battle royal next. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if Mojo won this? That would be terrible. That's some weird entries this year. Man, he seems to have piped the crowd up a bit, though. Hi, 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 bros. Interesting enough, now who is competitor number six? Taking a minute to get competitor number six out here. Who the hell is competitor number six? Oh shit! We only had one Bullet Club member, and now we've got a second one joining the Bone Soldier, and the Battle Royal is going to be Tomatonga. Man, that, that is huge. Now Ishimori's got some backup, you would figure, and Tomatonga, one of the Bullet Club OGs, one of the original members of the Bullet Club, Tomatonga is joining the holiday title battle royal. And like I said, Ishimori's got some help now. Gotta give the Bullet Club the advantage going into this now as Tomatonga and Ishimori are both in the match. Tomatonga is going to be one of the bigger competitors in the match too, and of course, the bigger you are, the harder you're going to be able to beat it. Uh, it's going to harder it's going to be to eliminate you, of course. It's like it's hard for me to talk right now for some reason. And competitor number seven is taking a while for us to get competitor number seven as well. Who the hell is going to come out number? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Can I get it? It's the freaking villain, Marty Skrull. Marty Skrull is entering the battle well, and You've got to be kidding me. Now we've got three Bullet Club members in this match. We've got Tom McCartney, we've got Taiji Ishimori, and Marty Skrull. The villain of the Bullet Club. All in this match up here. All competing for the title. Holy crap. It'd hate to be anyone else in this match right now. Mojo Rawley, Apollo Crews, Rick Flair, Jimmy Uso, you all better freaking watch out. Since the Bullet Club is taking this dumb bitch over. Are you still on Tonga down there below watching on? Tonga has got to be happy. The situation the Bullet Club is in right now. There's three of them. Three out of the eight competitors that we know of right now are Bullet Club. And 
And the final competitor, number eight, is going to be... <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Jimmy Uso's got to be happy as hell right now. Competitor number eight has also been down since day one-ish. Us. You see J Jimmy Uso right there looking on. He's, he's got to be ecstatic right now. His twin brother, Jay Uso, is the final entry in the 4th of July, 3rd annual holiday battle royal. Jimmy and Jay now gonna be able to work together and they're gonna have to work together here. There's three Bullet Club members in this match. So Jimmy's gotta be happy right now that he's got his brother to back, watch his back here, back him up if you will. Jimmy and Jay Uso, Taiji Ishimori, Marty Skull, Tomatonga, Apollo Cruz. Rick Flair, Mojo Rawley. What we're looking at for the competitors here. And of course, the tradition, I always pick someone, they always lose. So I'm going to pick Mojo. <laughs> See if he loses, hopefully. Holiday title thrown up on the line here. That American flag strap. And here we go. We're starting this match off heated. I like how they're trying to pick apart the Bullet Club right now. Oh, wait, now Tomatonga is going after Marty Skrull. Well, the Bullet Club alliance didn't last too long. Marty's in trouble. Wait, Marty. Marty fighting off Tomatonga here. Looks like the ROH version of the Bullet Club in the new. Oh, today there's Mojo. <laughs> yeah, he ain't winning. I picked him. He's the first out. Gotta love it. Ric Flair right now, those patented chops to Jay Us. Now you see Bullet Club. At least Taiji Ishimori and Tomatonga appeared to be working together, but now Marty Skrull and Ishimori are working together, over, working over Tomatonga here. It's very interesting. Thought for sure the Bullet Club would look to work together in this match, but they decided that's a no-go. See Ishimori over there gloating. Marty Skrull, just kidding, got him with a super kick. That's that ROH version of the Bullet Club there. Taiji Ishimori, Apollo Cruz with some power right there to Jimmy Uso. Apollo trying to impress. Marty Skrull off the ropes, misses wildly there. He was wildly wrong. Trump kick from Apollo Cruz. European uppercut, Ric Flair now with the vintage Flair strut. Woo! Rick Lewin right now. Oh God, Jay, 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 oh, Jay almost eliminated his brother Jimmy there. So you can never have any alliances in a battle royal, man. Got the Bullet Club fighting Bullet Club. We got the Uso fighting Uso. And if I was Rick Flair and Apollo Crews, I'd quit being idiots and I'd work together. They're the two odd men out right now since Mojo got out in like a matter of a minute, which was freaking hilarious. Now Ishimori trying to get rid of Tomatonga. Marty Skrull going to help him. They're both trying to get rid of Tomatonga here. Tonga too damn big. Ishimori threw it off. He didn't want nothing to do with Tomatonga anymore. He, he's going to let Marty take the heat from it. And now Ishimori just staring away at the other competitors in this match. Ric Flair almost eliminated Jimmy Uso. And the bloody hell is going on. Toma Tonga's out. Toma Tonga is out of here. And now we are down to six. Oh, I thought I was about to say we're down to five. Can't believe Toma Tonga got out that early. Ric Flair. Oh, got Flair with a pile driver to Jey Uso. And now you're going to start to see the Bullet Club work together now that Tom Tonga is out of here. Tom Tonga didn't want to play ball with the other members of the Bullet Club. Ric Flair now in trouble at the hands of Apollo Crews. Not going to happen. Marty Skrull going for a pin, man. He cannot pin right now. He's probably getting ready for his WrestleVerse match. I like how the Bullet Club and the Usos are just fighting each other right now. This is a very interesting situation. 
Uh, Ishimori, a nice drop kick. And right now you see Ishimori just working over the Usos. Clearly Ishimori and Marty Skrull have a great game plan right now. Might not matter for a much longer as Marty was about to get eliminated there. Oh, went for the super kick. Ishimori was able to dodge it. And now Bullet Club is rolling here. Marty Skrull and Ishimori with a super kick. Drop kick to the head of Apollo. And that alliance didn't last for long. Now Marty Skrull going after Ishimori. Now it's Bullet Club brethren going at it here. Who is going to win the holiday title? Oh, and Marty with a poke to the eye. What a villain. What a heel. Just poked Ishimori in the eye. And now Marty looking to follow up. Ishimori's in trouble. Gets jackknife with a powerbomb. Both Usos are still in it. I just want to point that out right now. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Marty Skrull's going for a super kick here. Oh God, he just super kicked Jey Uso and now punched him in the head as well. Ishimori right now is in a very bad position. Ishimori might want to get up. Jimmy Uso's going to look to mess him up. Ishimori moves out of the way, takes out Marty. And this is getting intense here between the Bullet Club and the Usos, it seems. Right now, Jey Uso trying to fight off Apollo Crews, and well, it was originally Ric Flair was helping him, but things have changed now. Super kick to the stomach from Jimmy Uso. Ishimori is now in the corner. Ishimori is in trouble with both the Usos there, and the Usos working together to eliminate Ishimori. The Bone Soldier is gone. Both the Usos are still in the match now. We are down to five. Oh no, and Marty, Marty, and there goes the Bullet Club, single-handedly eliminated by the Usos. Bullet Club is not winning this. Bullet Club is out. Oh God, well, there goes your brother, Jay. We've got one Uso in here now with Apollo Crews and Ric Flair. Oh God, and Rick now eliminates Apollo Crews as well. You've got to be kidding me. And then there were two, Rick Flair and Jey Uso. Oh no, Jey Uso was in trouble. Jey able to counter. Now Jey's got him up. Samoan driver, Kishi driver maybe. Rick Flair able to counter though. Now this old prick right now is working over Jey Uso. Kick to the stomach is no secret. I don't like Ric Flair, but he's doing gun right now. Set out pile driver from the Nature Boy. And he's got Jay Uso reeling, man. Uso is in trouble. Oh no, not the patented knee drop. Oh man, right across the face. Dare I say it? Knee to face. Jey Uso with a nice counter, Ric Flair slides down the back club to the spine. Now Rick looking to follow up, Jey Uso has other plans though. Who is going to win the holiday title? Who went for the double chop, Ric Flair? Oh God, right after the leg is the nature boy, the dirtiest player in the game. Ric Flair just taking out the knee of Jey Uso. Oh, and this cannot be good. Rick going for another pile driver, Us, Us counters. Jey Uso able to counter. Uso needs to capitalize right now. He has the opportunity, man. Oh, went to stomp him. Rick's back up. Rick Flair caught him. Jey Uso was an idiot. He pulled his punch there. Why would you pull your punch at the biggest heel in wrestling? Jeez. Kick to the stomach, shot to the face. Flair. Oh my God. He is not. Rick Flair is. Oh my God. He just grabbed Jey Uso's dick. What the hell you mean, woo, Rick? That is sick. You are a sick bastard, Rick. Rick Flair now picking apart the knee of Jey Uso. Jey ain't gonna be able to do any super kicks. Oh no, and not another knee. Oh my God, another knee in the face of Jey Uso. Jey Uso has been busted open. There's blood all over the damn face of Jey Uso. 
Oh, super kick to the stomach there from Jay. And now gonna follow up, maybe hit it this time, going for another Kishi driver. But Ric Flair able to counter it as well. A second time, man. Ric Flair, this dirty bastard right now, is picking apart Jay Uso. Oh, screw you, Rick. You suck. Ric Flair now calling up Jay. Oh, no. A third pile driver, but Jay Uso. Uso counters it. Uso counters it. Shot to the stomach from Ric Flair. Went for a jab. Jay Uso counters. Uso short on clothesline from Jay Uso. Uso now returns the favor with a jumping elbow to the chest of Ric Flair. Can Uso do it? Flair counters. Scorpion death drop. This is getting intense, man. Oh, come on! Now Rick's got his fingers in Jey Uso's eyes. This is getting ridiculous. Back suplex from Ric Flair. Can we get some order on this? There's no referee, but still. This is ridiculous. What else is Rick Dickhead Flair going to have to do? Jey Uso counters punch to the stomach. Uso looking to follow up Jawbreaker from Flair. Who is going to win the holiday title dragon screw from the Uso? Uso in control. Went for the double chop again, but Flair able to duck it again. Oh God, now double arm hook. Butterfly, Jey Uso. Uso counters out of it with an arm drag. Beautiful counter there from Uso. Oh man, Uso has Flair reeling. And a super kick over the ropes. Jey Uso has won the holiday championship. Man, and we're just, what, three or four nights away from Ring Warriors slash Dead End. Oos making a statement, man. You know they're gonna want their tag titles back. Revival, of course, the current Mayhem Tag Team Champions. Jey Uso just picked up the holiday title. Nice win there for Jey Uso. You know Jimmy's gotta be happy. The holiday title is coming back to the Usos, man.